Hey, welcome to another episode of Laser Wood Shapes. Today we've got something special. We're going to put two laser cutters head to head and see which one comes out on top. We've got the full spectrum laser on one hand versus the K40 China unbranded laser on the other. We'll put them through their paces, see which one produces the best results. Okay, for this first section we are going to look at safety features. Now, this is a full spectrum laser. It is equipped with a whole series of safety features. The first safety feature that you'll notice, keyed access. Without the key, you can't use the machine. And that goes for not only using the machine, but you can't access the inside without the key. Not only do you need the key for the power or to access the control board, but if you want to access the laser tube in the back, you'll need a key for that as well. So not only do you need a key in order to operate or in order to do any maintenance on the machine, but if you were to open the lid, the machine automatically turns off the laser. You'll notice here we have a magnetic activated switch. When the switch is open, the laser will not fire. Only when the lid is closed will the laser be allowed to turn on and fire. So safety, this machine has plenty of it. The K40 on the other hand has no safety feature whatsoever. This was made in China and this machine is lacking safety everywhere you look. It has but one safety feature. you can turn off the laser power by pushing that toggle. That's it. You know, I got the power button here. Your kid could come over and turn it on. Fire up the laser. Turn it on. Stick their head in there. Well, maybe stick their hand in there. And hit the test button and fire the laser beam right into their hand. Nothing would prevent them. You can get into the control panel. You've got access to the circuit board. And to get in the back of this machine, you just have to open it up. The K40 laser, as good a machine as it is, it is the equivalent of running a table saw or a hand saw with absolutely no safety guards without even having a push stick in order to get your material through the saw. This machine, Safety is all on you. Now let's talk about features. The full spectrum laser, this being a fourth generation H series full spectrum laser, 40 watt. For features, it has a red indicator telling you where the cut is going to occur. It comes with an air assist built in. You simply have to uh, add a pump in order to get the uh, air assist to go. It's got lights. This machine also has an amp meter to tell you how much power is going through. And this control knob is actually non-functional. The power level is determined by the software, not by the control knob. Additionally, it's got functions for the lights. And the air pump's got a switch here too if you were to hook your air pump into the machine. This machine also has an adjustable bed height. It's manual, you have to crank it by hand, but you can raise and lower the bed height to whatever material you're working on. This machine also has a honeycomb bed for you to put your material on, allowing for a nice clean cut. When you have a flat surface underneath, smoke can build up underneath your cut and can burn it on the back side and leave ugly stains. With the honeycomb, the laser passes right through after it's done cutting and it doesn't, uh, doesn't mess up the back of your workpiece. Now this machine has a nice large 
cut surface area of about 9 inches by 12 and a half inches. Now your K40 laser, as far as features, ha features go, it does not have a red indicator light. It does not have an air assist. It does not come with a honeycomb uh, bed. The bed is not adjustable. Power is determined manually by the, the control knob, though it does give you an amp meter to let you know how much power is going through the tube. Now this particular machine I have upgraded. I have the red indicator light, laser light. I've added a switch for that. I also have added the air assist so it's always blowing the smoke away. And I've added a honeycomb on my machine. Now the cutting size is a little smaller on this K40 at about eight and a half, maybe eight and a quarter inches by 12 inches. Still very similar. Now in order to get the adjustable bed height, I just use a whole series of spare wood. That has got to be the, the most ghetto way of doing it, but that is what I've got. That's an upgrade for a future video. We'll add an adjustable, um, we'll add one of those awesome adjustable beds to it. Now I know I'm going to get some awesome comments down below about my wood support system underneath my honeycomb. Will it catch fire? Does it burn? No, not really. By the time the laser gets all the way down there, it's so out of focus that it does almost nothing. All right, to test the performance of these two machines, we're going to be engraving and cutting this football shape on both. Let's cut out the same shape, engrave the same detail in with the K40. engraving is done let's uh, let's grab them both and compare them side by side okay time to compare these two footballs this one was cut on the full spectrum laser this one was cut on the K40 laser if we come in and take a real close look what you'll see is real nice smooth edges on all these curves come over here we can see one continuous smooth curve all the way down these lines. The edge on the cut is also nice and smooth. The back, nice and clean, no burn marks along the edge. That's thanks to that honeycomb, um, honeycomb bed that I've got in there. Now if we come over here and look at the football cut with the K40 laser, as we get real close here, you can see little bits of jagged edges, little pixelizations and stair steps. That's quite apparent here as you can see right there, got all those little stair steps as it's having a little bit of trouble handling those uh, smooth curves. Again on the uh, edge, you can see right along the edge, we've got the exact same thing even on the cutting side. So whether it's engraving or cutting, the K40 laser has just a little bit of lack of detail. 
The back, of course, is uh, is nice on this one too, thanks to that honeycomb bed. Overall, a good football, but this one is great. So I hope you found this informative. And if you're looking at getting either one of these lasers, they would be a great investment. For the money, you can't beat $300, though. So if you're thinking about uh, going to a laser, is $3,000 worth this level of detail to you? Or are you just looking for something that, uh, that a $300 laser can get the job done? Thanks for watching.